Hi, this is Robin again. Thank you for renting my trailer. I'm gonna do a little walk around on uh, on where are all these things, uh, you know, on this camper. Uh, this is my camper, Sportsman Classic. Um, this is where the gas tank located, down there. Our, uh, and then the battery is inside this. You don't need to worry about that. And then on this side, this is where you're going to fill up with potable water down here. All of these things are just like manual. There's no uh, uh, indicator or anything down there in the inside. So what you're going to do, just fill it up until it overflow. That's how you're gonna know, notice that it's already full. Then if your campsite has a uh, fresh water connection, this is where you're gonna hook it up down there. There is a white, uh, hose inside the camber look at it i'm gonna show it to you shortly that's where that you're going to connect in here and this side this is where you're going to see the power connection down there there is a uh, an extra plug if you if your site is uh, only using a 15 ampere it's in it's located inside the uh, uh located at the back of the trailer i'm gonna show it to you shortly also and then this is where the uh, sewer line so when emptying uh, make sure after the rentals uh, uh, at the end of your camping make sure to empty the sewer sewer tank it is a part of uh, it is the responsibility of the renter to empty them after every use so when uh, when emptying the tank make sure to connect the hose in this area the hose is located in here over there, the green one. Just pull it out. Pull it out. And then hook it up with the, hook it up over there. Let's put it back there again. Yeah. And hook it up over here. And turn this thing. I can open this up. Open this up. After you hook up that uh, hose down there. You can release this uh, black tank first. Always remember when emptying the sewer tank, always release the black tank first. Then make sure someone will be going inside to empty all the water. What I usually do, I always uh, use the flush from the toilet, flush all, uh, flush all the water to wash out that thing. Then once everything is done, shut this off, the black tank. Then followed by the gray tank. And then wait till everything is drained. And then same thing. After that, close this bulb. Remove the hose. Put it back here. That's just, it, it's simple. It's always, you know, it's a simple thing to do on that one. And here's the back of the trailer. So... There is a compartment over here. This is where you're going to see everything. So, I'm going to show it to you. What's inside? Inside this, this is where I always store all the weight distribution heats, stabilizer jack. There's a power cable there that if you need some. This is the stacker. If you need some... Um, uh... There are some axe there. Anything that you can see inside, you can use them. There's an extra hose in here. If the, uh, if the sewer is a little bit uh, far, you can use that as a connector. Uh, this is, there are all some, this one, this uh, grain bag. This is where the hose, every time you're cleaning the sewer. So you can use this green, green bag here. And then the, if you're connected to a city water, this is the blue bug has the white hose. This is for potable water connection. Don't uh, don't use this one when cleaning up the sewer. The other one is there. And then I'm gonna put back this over there. See, there are some axe, uh, other tools. There are also gloves here that you can use when cleaning up over here. 
this blue thing here this is the stabilizer jack so that the uh, the trailer is not wobbly when you're you know when you're inside you can use this one together with this tucker over there and this is the inside of the trailer okay everything here is simple that's the bed there's a tv there this is a uh, this is a uh, table that you can convert into bed i'm going to show you a little bit on how to do that one so i usually lift those two pads up like this and then release this thing down here down i usually put that down there no there is that thing there usually put that there like that then put that thing there put this thing down that's how you're gonna set up as a bed like this like that and that's how you're gonna make a bed using this one so put to, to put this away so same thing lift those things up again this one under this one and lift this up again i usually release this thing there make sure it's standing up like that put it down and kind of help it a little bit move up like this until it hook up into this uh like there's a little bit hole in there if you can see it and once that thing once Make sure that thing is hooked up properly in there and that's already back the table put this back down there put this thing there so I have another chair again down there And then the camper always uh, has some chairs and uh, has some chairs and a, a portable uh, stove. This is where you're going to find them. The red one is the stove. This is the chairs. Actually, it's, there are four in there. One for kids and three for adults. There are also for, uh, gas there that you can use. Here's the toilet. Right now, that blue thing there is a, uh, it's a, uh, what's it called? It's, it is a uh, bayou pouch. This thing, after you uh, empty the sewer, make sure to put one over there. This is, will, this will make the, you know, make the camper smells better after you uh, empty the sewer and it's all also helps uh, to uh, remove all the odors so that's that this thing is always located in this area the trailer also has some of those uh, tissues there use only the tissue that we always provide for the toilet there are some utensils inside that you can use And here, there's a toaster there. This pouch here has some of those remotes and everything. Remote for the AC, remote for the TV and everything. But, you know, there. Under this, 
this is where you're gonna see all those uh, you know pans water heater thermos garbage bag extra emergency lights and some other cleaning stuff there whatever you see inside the camper you can use them just make sure to put them in the right place afterwards and that's it thank you